Um, they actually they, started they have in these, a jar. They have these at Walmart and many. I've seen them at other stores too, but we got ours at, at no uh, Wegmans. Wegmans rather. And they have the beans and at Wegmans. They have so. this type and and this type. So this is the, this is really to get started if you just want to try a jar. You can actually just try a mason jar with cheesecloth or any kind of sieve over it. Um, but it's as simple as taking any of the seed packs. They also sell. Because right. you can buy them. And be careful because this, this, this like one actually busted open expensive. and there's little seeds all over the place. <laughs> um, and you don't need a lot. Uh, follow the directions. It tells you how many either per this. Yeah, this, a lot. Okay. But like a mm -hmm. teaspoon, maybe a tablespoon in the bigger ones. Um, so to start it, you put your seeds in and they're dry. And I usually do this at the sink because it's, it's where you need cold water. Never use hot water, they say. Um, I don't know what it does. It, hot water must ruin, ruin. Yeah, it must ruin the beans or something. But always cold water. And uh, what you're doing with the water is both um, starting them in that growing process, but you're also rinsing them once or twice a day because they can grow like a little fungus if you don't mm -hmm. oh, that's rinse why, yeah. so it's a twofold with the water but let me show you what we've got here put them inside you put the seeds when you first put the seeds in you soak them for a period of time like an hour okay and then this is actually a sieve of its own it has little holes on the side here on the on the bottom so I actually put it, put this upside down, put it in there, let it let it soak for that hour or whatever, then pull it out, let it drain in the sink, and then put it up on the shelf in this, because it'll still catch some of the dripping drops in this upside down. Um, and they're designed to stack. Then. So you, know, you would put your seeds in this, let it soak, put it like this, and then you basically, you basically tear them like that. Now, and then once you have anything growing, you just rinse it twice a day. You put it in there, let it drip, you know, and get all, you know, as much of the water out as you can, and put it back on here, and put the lid over it. And when they do get up to about this height, is when you want to start getting them some daylight. You want them to green with with daylight. They get more nutrients, I guess, that way, and they get better for for using. But here's you this still is, rinse it when you uh, yeah, when even when you're green, green, right till you use them, right till you use um, them, right till you right. harvest them. Well, you, they, you can harvest them too, and then put them in a refrigerator, like in a paper That's towel, just right. damp. How you get them in a grocery store, um, and they'll last them, like a week yeah. in a grocery store. But you get them wet, that rinse them good, good that one last time. Like you know, like three dollars, and the bag right. for the seeds is like eight dollars or something. And see how many That's seeds you get. Good. This is about a day or two. Yeah. Oh yeah. Started. Oh yeah. Yeah. Pass that. That's the day. This is about five days, and <laughs> we were gonna bring some up last Sunday. <laughs> it just got way too big. So <laughs> we were waiting and waiting and waiting. We made a soup. Like they're super expensive. You know, took the lead wax. Twenty seven bucks maybe. And then the jar, the jar is the same thing, but on a much smaller scale. You put a thick bottom or a teaspoon of the whatever type of seeds. And there's, I just got these. I didn't try these yet. This is a different. Because how much did the bag cost, Pop? There's no price on it, but not, I mean that, not excessive. I mean, six or eight dollars, not more than that, right? I'm still on the first bag of, of this stuff, and I've had it for couple months. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're not using a lot either, yeah. especially with these little and these tiny crunchy the ones, you put them in the salad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. 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 just yeah. throw them in yeah. yeah. lately that I had never had They're before. Broccoli yeah. sprouts yeah. are delicious. And they have all different kinds of beans. Like when you go to Wegmans, they have, you know, beans, garbanzo beans, beans you can sprouts, sprouts them, and yeah. whatever, all yeah. different variations. Like the sprouts of the chia seeds? I no, believe I so. If you yes. Them. I don't. Because they sprout them I, on the chia pets. I don't think I have yeah, those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't think I have chia, but I think I've seen chia on there. We have chia yeah. seeds. Here's alfalfa. Yeah, I forget nice. what this well, is. Well, you can try the chia seeds. We have chia seeds at home. Do we? Yeah. This one is. This is alfalfa. So I have two packs of alfalfa. Whatever that other seed is that's going around, that's beans or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Like by garbanzo beans or something. And then this is. Powerhouse, beans, it's a mix of like six. Peas, mung beans, mm -hmm. garbanzo, adzuki, is that how you say mm -hmm. this? Yeah, adzuki. Wow. adzuki. So, I mean, there's, there's so many adzuki, things you can lentil, do with them. Lentil, mung, radish seeds. Yeah, radish, well, I was shocked by the radish. Well, the radish, radish sprouts are great. 
Um, and then this is just as simple. You, you put them, put the seeds in, you soak them for that hour or whatever, and this top is a sieve. Mm -hmm. So then you just, you know, I'm not going to right here because it might get a little water out, but you, 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 and then you put that up in the window. I, I think the big part with the covering is that you don't have air drying them out. Mm. To be in a bottle like this is nice because if you have air moving in your house, it kind of dry them out. So it, it's kind of important when you're first new that you do use the stacking mechanism because that is what helps keep them uh, from drying out with a lot of wind. Or, you know, if you have forced air, it's going to blow and, and dry them out quicker than you can wet them all the time. Um, but I just keep the, the newest ones on the bottom and the oldest ones on top. And your wife just needs to remember to put them in the salad. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> they're up on the window. Around the windowsill and all the food. Even last night, I said, the refrigerator, so then I go and make the salad and so whatever, and then I'm like, oh, I forgot to <laughs> So, and it's so simple. I mean, and I, what are they charge? And then what did you say? Just put, they're good on hummus sandwiches, they're good on veggie or bean burgers, they're good on lots of things. You know, and so one batch is like six bucks. They are instead of buying them at the store. And it's fresh. It's fresh. How expensive they are in the store is crazy. Thank you, Paul. Thank you.